my dear brothers and sisters, in this dunya, we train hard, we work hard to achieve many goals. For those of us who want a certain career, a certain profession, we work hard, we train hard, we take courses that keep us up day and night. For those of us who want a nice body, we go to the gym, we train day in, day out for a goal that we have in mind. But why is it that when it comes to the commandments of Allah, to the pro prohibitions of Allah, why is it that we don't strive? Why is it that we may try to strive, we may try to struggle, but then we give up very easily? The answer is three things. The answer is three things. Our evil inclining nafs, our external enemy shaitan, and this dunya that we live in, and we are attracted by it. This dunya that is visible to us, as opposed to the akhirah that is invisible from us. I swear by Allah that if me and you were to see what Allah has prepared for the believers and the disbelievers in the akhirah, if we were to see it with our eyes for even a split second, we would not sin, we would not disobey Allah for even a single day. But it is because this dunya is visible to us and the akhirah is from the world of the unseen. It is because of that, that striving against our nafs and struggling to perfect ourselves. It is because of that, that it becomes difficult. And it is because of that, that the majority of us, we give in and we give up. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from among those whom he subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِيْنَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Indeed, those who strive and struggle for our sake, they strive and struggle against their nafs then we, it is Allah's promise, we will open up for them the ways in this dunya and in the akhirah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from among them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us to see our shortcomings and to work against them.